Good morning from Nebraska. Spring is in the air. I love the smell, sight, and sound of spring. It's a very encouraging time of year. Happy April 10th. So much work to do, but also a long string of nice, beautiful days to be able to accomplish all said work. It is Monday morning. They will be co-op. We'll be refilling. Ah, smells like halfway used oil. Co-op will be refilling my anhydrous tanks. And so we are going to do a little bit of disking. Also, co-op will be spraying some of my fields. And I want to disk the end rows, loosen it up. Then they can spray. I don't want to disturb the soil after it sprays because I want that chemical to suppress the weeds so I can plant my crop and get a jump on the growing season. 8530 hooked up to the, I don't even know what we call that disc. Is that the 340? Whatever it is, it's 32 feet wide. We'll do some end rows, do some ruts, clean up some fields to prepare for planting. Everything I'm doing this week and last week, everything is for preparing to planting. We need to do this so this tractor can be hooked up to the soybean planter, which needs to be put back together. So we have to do C so we can get to A, B, D. That makes sense. Stop talking, Kale, and let's just get rocking and rolling. The uh, turn this auto steer on with clicking the button in the back once. I have everything hooked up. Hydraulics are in, pin is in, even the safety chain. Always hook the safety chain. Did I do this correctly? Any of you truckers or tractor drivers out there or John Deere, Case IH engineers, what is the correct way to do a safety chain? This is the way that I do it. Loop it around, up in there, and hook it in there. I think it will hold, but is there a right or wrong way to do it? And we are disking end rows. I feel like I need to obviously clean out the cab of this tractor and also clean my windshield, but no time. We will definitely do that once we get it hooked up to the soybean planter. Oh, this ground is working wonderfully. Cleaning up the corn stalks, smoothing out the ruts, the tracks, all of the trucks, semi-trucks from Harvest and the combine and the grain cart, which will be here. <laughs> It'll take a little bit, but follow along this season, 2023 season, all the way through Harvest to see what are your predictions on what these soybeans will yield. All the prep is almost there. I need to go through and work on some of my pivots including maybe getting this one out of the way. Do you think we can go underneath of it? Pivot maintenance includes drives, gearboxes, tires. Engine oil has already been changed. Ooh, we should start the drippers. So if we get this field planted and we do get a big rain on it, we will want to run the pivot for possible potential crusting issues. Stay along for all the drama of farming. This is a very satisfying job. I really enjoy disking. Somebody remind me I need to buy and put a roof cover over that power unit that used to be a diesel engine. This used to be the farm that Laura farmed. But we put a new natural gas engine there and I would like to put a roof over its head. Please remind me so we can get that done. Get that built. Um, also, Adam, you can see one of the problems here. The PTO, the clutch is not completely disengaged. So the PTO is running just a little bit. That is giving us water. So yes, in reverse, 
Wow, you're a natural. Did you know, had you run a pivot before? Just a few times, yeah. Oh, okay. Run reverse, out of our way, go down and back. And then we'll start it forward. I had to switch tanks. I got a new tank on. Now, let's go eat pizza. This is a great opportunity, probably to show you guys a little bit better idea of what I'm doing, how I'm doing this. Okay, so the disc blade runs in the row in between the two ridges. This big blade is at a little bit of an angle to make a little bit of a gap for the anhydrous in this hose to shoot in between there and then this disc closes it this way this one packs it and closes it this way to pinch off that trench that's a lot easier explanation in the field right now uh oh we're bowling up with trash just pay attention to focus on that we'll keep going here you just oh don't man no, oh there we go like three seconds off, but I highly doubt that we're completely affected. It's just stock footage. I mean, stock filmage. Ooh, that pivot's going. Are you good to go? I so. And I'll focus on turning. We'll do a skip pass. Seven to seven point two miles an hour. Pivot is moving. And 
is still putting out some water. up just a little bit on that outside row but we're to the end I think we're good should be safe fill in that gap so I'm gonna make a yeah really wide obnoxious turn here because that pivot is coming faster than I thought yeah I gotta fill in there because I won't be able to make it back and get that pass in time so I'll just make a pretzel in this new disc area. Auto steer, machine down, foot switch on, pressure rising, application going. Full throttle, speed up. What do you have to say about that, Adam? I'm not trying to say I'm jealous, but uh, oh, feels me. good. I was starting to fall asleep. I need something to keep me awake. <laughs> Just hold myself at this point. <laughs> What's all that beeping? A little close. Too close to an inanimate object. some of these corn stalks, some of the corn stalk residue. <laughs> nice job, right through all the dust. No, I keep accidentally hitting the button. To record or to unrecord? To stop recording. Oof. 
you hit home and you just landed on your own thing. Well, I don't think there's no way in the home would do that nice. <laughs> well, no, I know that, but like when you get close to home, do you just hit home now or you just drop it down? I'm just gonna drop it. Shoot, I hope we can see it. Yeah, what happens I'll, if I run over it? I'll just hover, I'll hover, I'll hover. Can you fly underneath me? I don't know. So I saw a bunch of smoke and a wet spot on my tire, and I had a hose come off. So I called Ethan. Yep. My trusty Ethan, hired man. Can you give me a, can you get me a nut driver? So he did. Brought a nut driver. Do you have the, you have the food? clamp? Thank you. Clamp. So we will put this hose on in here somewhere down to there it fits onto this shank and then shoots into the ground over there and then we can go start that motor that yeah. is not starting and uh, mom is here with dinner are you serious she just pulled up. quick make it look like you're working and uh, doing yeah. something they look like you're productive. Oh, awesome. Supper. Should we do the fix first? Yeah, I don't know. It's All right, let's try to get this. <laughs> try to feel accomplished. So that means it's a perfect time to record. So I won't call for any more tanks. I will finish this tank. I will put the hose on, get the clamp on, drive out to the well, try to start the motor, and get it going. If I can't, I'll work on that tomorrow or call somebody. Finish out this tank and go home. Are you done here? Are you gonna do a clear coat? Clear coat and just let it dry. And then you're done. Do you wanna try to it. install it tonight? Yes. But that's if you call me when the clear coat is dry. We got the rim done. So had the tire center come out and put a tube in that and he beat the rim and fixed that had auto steer guy come out to fix the auto steer but he couldn't get it uh i think there's a steering valve that is faulty that is bad so i called john deere and they'll be coming out tomorrow at noon to fix that tractor oh and i have a new planter Shh, i shouldn't have said that i have something new coming out tomorrow think they're gonna trailer it I was clicking around on an auction again I bought something um, that'll be tomorrow what a nice beautiful day today it got really warm and not so windy Nebraska is a beautiful place to live we will see you tomorrow